talk about you and your sick little fucking fetish. Oh, hi, all. You guys know what? I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said uh, good morning. Uh, very wrong. Anyway, it is currently 6 o'clock in the morning now. 6.06. And uh, soon it'll be 6.07. In about do, 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 five seconds. Anyway, uh, well, now it's now, now it is. Anyway, uh, 9.07. Listen here, uh, so I finished watching the episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, and I have to gotta say, uh, it's too bad that we're showing Rabapi's death all over again. Uh, it's been a bit since I've, uh, watched the episode, by the way, so I'm gonna try to remember. Um, and I'm in this really, like, relaxed type of, type of, uh, mood right now. I don't want to be too loud because, you know, I don't want to wake up the dead, you know, as they say. And this mic is just getting a little, it's getting real loud, you know what I mean? Uh, hello? Okay, that should be, see, I don't want it to peak. It, it goes red. All right, I want it to be like a nice, nice not peak uh, form yet. Okay, now listen. This is where it ends. Anyway, that's not even how it goes. Anyway, anyway, listen. Robopi's death is shown again as what happened previously. So that's not. And then I had to watch it again because I clicked. I clicked back on uh, verb. So uh, fuck me. Uh, so what ends up happening is well, finally, uh, all you fucking faggots finally get what you want. It's uh, Re Revolver versus Soulburner. Uh, not. Am I upset? Because I know some people have really weak feelings. They don't have the thick skin anymore. Uh, so when I say faggots, I'm joking around. Calm, calm your shit, you little faggot. Okay. So. Soul Burner versus Robop. Oh, fuck. It should, that should, yeah, that should have been the duel. Soul Burner versus... Oh, fuck. Soul Burner... Ver it's not very, his name's fucking Vedas, you know, that fucking dude from, uh, Crazy Russian Singer. Anyway, Revolver versus Soulburner. Um, okay, because there's some things to talk about now, I'm remembering it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now I remember. So, the duel starts off. Uh, well, actually, first, Robby's in space. We see uh, I going to some spaceship. Uh, Lingaribo's bo Lingaribo body is basically just like on that spaceship, like really sucking face. You know what I mean? Like its face just put, put, put up against it. I thought that was a bit funny. Now, after that, we see that I can see where they're at in brains because they're still in brains. Uh, I thought, but I thought they wouldn't be in brains. Um, when this door took place. I thought it would be like somewhere else. Anyway, anyway. <coughs> what ends up happening is. Uh, Revolver basically terraforms uh, <laughs> the part they're in. To basically put them back in the loss as incident. Back at the loss incident. So. What ends up happening. Is they end up doing. Uh, now. You talk was like Revolver. Soul burner, but they ain't listening. Uh, and the times to fight, you know, these boys came to throw hands, nigga. And with all that, they do. And when they do, uh, who takes the first turn here? I think Soul Burner takes the first turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's right, he does. And uh, Soul Burner basically just. Does the exact same shit he did in the first uh, versus fight, and I is actually watching the duel, and I is like, "Oh, cool!" You know, same fight over again. Which that has happened before in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know how or when, but it has, if I remember correctly. Um, I think it was a uh, Yuma. No, I don't know if it was Yuma versus Kaito, the final duel. But basically, yeah. Um, 
We've seen this stuff before in the uh, series, not in Reigns, but like, you know, 5Ds, GX, Yu-Gi-Oh, Arc 5, all that, so, anyway, so, a bit of history repeating here, uh, more for the series, uh, than the episode, and then Revolver says, oh, you start out the same way, <sighs> you start out the same way, let me show you what would have actually happened if I would have actually fought back. Which was a nice, like, sting, I guess you could say, to your opponent. Um, so, Revolver goes. My lips are chapped, fuck. Okay. Then Revolver goes. Revolver gets out. He does some shit. I kind of blacked out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I did kind of black out. All right. Well, sue me. Uh, I blacked out on Revolver's turn. His revolver just special. No, sorry. I blacked out on Silburn's turn. Silburn was special something shit until he finally accumulated his final board. Revolver did the same thing. So Revolver's board had this new monster. I forgot what it was called. Uh, it had like a Q in its name, but every time they pronounced it, it was something totally different. Um, not every time they pronounced it, the name changed. What I mean, like, every time they pronounced it, instead of being Q Dragon, it was like Kawaii Dragon or something like that. But, but in the Japanese, there's no hint of a Q. So I don't know if that Q is silent. I'm pretty sure. I think it is silent. Anyway, so what ended up, what en what ended up happening was he also got his Boralode a dragon, which Boralode has the effect of stealing a monster when it attacks, and it can also do something about lowering your opponent's monster by 500, uh, whatever the fuck it feels like. Anyway, so, what ends up happening is, uh, Revolver attacks, Soul Burner. Soul Burner takes a bit of damage, but the whole damage in total should be game over, OTK, full blown OTK, and Revolver's like, you know, I wanted to have more fun, but I guess, you know, this tool's gonna just be short. He attacks, and of course, here comes Soul Burner with a trap card, a pretty good trap card, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It could have been something like a Confusion Shaft, like you say had, where, you know, for this specific moment, this thing's gonna happen, um, in case you don't know, uh, you say was fighting, yeah, this goes back to like season 2 or season 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Yusei was fighting the police officer. When he was fighting the police officer, what ended up happening was... They ended up falling down a shaft. He activated a trap card where, where his monster attacked... No, sorry. The police officer attacked his monster. He flipped over the trap card. It was Confusion Shaft. That card basically said that attacking monster has to attack uh, another monster on your opponent's side of the field. And then damage proceeds as normal and all that. They, well, actually, I think, I think the opponent takes damage from both monsters. So that happened. And it's very situational because um, I have it somewhere, but I don't, I don't think I really want to read it. So I'm just going to go off this from memory. So basically, that's how you say won that duel. It's because his monsters got all confused, and it was it was pretty gimmicky because you you can't pull that shit off jackass, you know what I mean? Um, so this duel was a bit more better, uh, even though the gimmick was Link monsters, uh, but it is reasonable because Link monsters are the thing, you know. So his trap card is something eruption. I don't even remember, but basically it was some volcanic support. That's what I know. Anyway, it's a very it's a pretty solid trap card. Um, it has a fire theme to it, but it isn't a fire card. So basically, he's going to go ahead and for each Link monster, a... a uh, no, wait, I, I don't know. Is it a... Oh, no, I think it is a Solomon Great card. Never mind. He has to... He basically has to return, I think, a Solomon Great card from his uh, graveyard to his extra deck. And for each Link monster that Link Solomon Great Card had, or that they would whatever, um, for each Link marker, mind you, his opponent's monster goes down that attack, and it's a thousand for each Link monster marker. So that three thousand attack monster coming his way, well, 
uh, heat, heat, heat lion had three markers, so his attack becomes zero. Which is pretty cool. And then he gets to draw a card for every... No, I, I don't know if he draws a card for every link mar marker. Or for like every thousand whatever. I, I don't know. He gets to draw a card though. Or maybe he just gets to draw one card. I don't really remember. But I do remember on his second turn... The camera does look at him as he ha as he's just looking straight in the camera, and he he he's got like seven cards in hand. Anyway, so revolver I'll say verse. God damn it. Revolver ends his turn. Soulburner goes. Soulburner does a bunch of shit, but he doesn't do certain monster effects because of reasons. You see, Barrel Dragon cannot be affected by his opponent's monsters, which is nice to be brought up by the character. I I says. And there's a little, I like this a little attention detail. It shows that they are paying attention, uh, even though they do not read the cards. Uh, Revol uh, I says, his XC monster has the ability to basically spin a monster back. Shoot that shit back into the deck. So why doesn't he activate it? Uh, then it cuts to Playmaker saying, oh, I know why he's not doing it. Because his boss monster, the Link boss monster, has the ability... Uh, well, the effect states that it cannot be, uh, it's unaffected by monster effects. So, spinning it back to the extra deck wouldn't work. He would basically have to spin the other monster on the field. However, we see later on, Soulburner sets that up. <coughs> Since it's unaffected by monster effects, the other Link monster that's there, he uses Heat he Lion's uh, Reincarnated Link uh, effect to basically... Uh, make that go down uh, to 500 uh, so when he attacks he could deal a bunch of damage however uh, Revolver says nah bitch that didn't happen today so what ends up happening is that he uses Fusion of Fire now I don't know why exactly he did this but I kinda guess why uh, he could have used Fusion of Fire sent a uh, monster on his field and a monster in his hand because he had a lot of he had a lot of hand presents to the graveyard Fusion, fusion Summon. He didn't do that. Instead, he used his Link Monster and his XC Monster to Fusion Summon. He did end up getting a monster that was 4,600, uh, which is good and all. Uh, two Revolvers, 3,000 attack monster. So, bigger numbers beat numbers and all that, you know. Uh, but, here comes the extra effect. Uh, he. Solomon Great Violent Chimera ends up getting, because it's the monster he summoned, by the way, it wasn't some new monster, ends up basically beefing up again because of its own effect, and because of that, it attacks, and Revolver basically is, is about to lose, but he's like, uh, and today, bitch. Uh, so he's able, he had, he, he, he I apparently played some card that put a counter on uh, Barrel of Dragon. I should probably rewatch this episode, but I usually never do. Uh, I never rewatch the episodes. Anyway, he basically puts on a counter on his card, but then he removes it to go ahead and half the damage he was he was going to take, which is fine and dandy and everything. Uh, so he's left with like 800 or 600 points, and he's like, well, you couldn't kill me. But Soulburner does say, yeah, but I did take out your big boss monster, and look at your life points now. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I would call it beautiful, uh, but if it was a, if, if he died like that, that would be beautiful. Well, not die, but he'd be lost the game. Great stylish. Oh yeah, I also says I forgot what I said. Oh yeah, about repeating the duel. He was his his, his last comment about the duel being repeated was it's stylish. Oh, also they keep painting I in a dark light, like because it's all pitch dark and the screen's just on and you're just like standing there floating there, and like the light reflecting. So it kind of gives him off like a very villainous looking type of look to him. Which is, I thought it was pretty interesting because of all the things he's done. He's done, I should say. Anyway, so back on dry care. That's kind of how it ends because now it's Revolver's turn. And then, do note for this whole whole episode, it's been nonstop raining, well, virtual rain. And um, as this duel seems to be heading towards the peak of it, the climax, 
lightning just strikes and then it kind of ends and then the preview alludes to this whole just this this whole thing just being a test to try to get revolver back on its feet and out of the past uh that's what the the, the trailer the, sorry the end credits for next episode seems to be about it seems to be about uh what's he first got him in it seems to be about revolver telling seems to be about Revolver, yeah, there we go. Sorry, that's a silver. Uh, Revolver telling Soulburner that basically moving forward is it, it's where it's where you go. It's, it's where it's at. Basically, just go forward, my man. Go forward, which I find funny. That go forward was the song that appeared when Soulburner first came onto the scene. And I don't say that's his theme. I'm saying that you know, new season, new character. The opening was go forward. Anyway. Revolver also states that time has stopped for him as well. Which is this the first time we're hearing of this? Cause I don't I don't really I don't really remember, but that is that is very I don't know, I don't know what's he deep. It's very like, oh damn, because he he's like he he's been the bad guy all this time. He's been that semi rival, you know. Uh, stepping in the way of the the hero, you know, but he has his own reasons, and to find out that basically him, Yusaku's whole like you know, after that after that time, you know, it, it's out for both, which is pretty interesting all in its own right. I'd say. Sorry, so. Hmm. I need to stop yawning. I'm not even sleeping, my god. <laughs> I was up all at 8 o'clock in the morning, like, hey, how you doing? And now it's all fucking night. I'm like, I'm dying. Doesn't fucking make sense. Anyway. So what ends up happening now is I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. Bye, guys. Anyway, uh. What the hell is that? So. I'm really trying to remember what happened, shit. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the end credits of that. Well, not the end credits, but the preview for the next episode is basically that. Oh, this yard again helping. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And. Uh huh, yeah. I think. I think Revolver. I think what's. I want to I wanna just say what I think is going to happen. I think, because I know now it's going to be a test, I think what's going to happen is maybe Soulburner is going to lose. But in losing, he's going to find the ability to move forward. And then Revolver is going to go fight I. And basically, I is going to defeat Revolver. And now I can truly fight Playmaker. Alternatively, Soulburner wins. He beats Revolver. He goes forward, and now he can make it. Because in the preview, I just want to say this. In the preview, Revolver is still looking like Revolver. Soulburn, on their hand, looks a little bit more like he's being pushed to the edge. Because uh, they don't look... Because in the preview, uh, Soulburn does not look... Like how he does in this duel, he looks a bit more like in the fight with Bowman, a bit more intenser. You know, his face is going that anime levels of proportion. Uh, while Revolver, on the other hand, his 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 glass seems to be broken, but he's not really. You know, he's not how he was with with Playmaker. You know, for the whole Tower of Annoy, destroy everything. You know, Father's last last wish, last will. Uh, so that's kind of kind of beat Bop. You know. Rhythm to the beat right there. So, what ends up happening now is I think I think Soulburner should win. I think Soulburner should just beat his ass. Uh, which, if that happens, I I would find funny because of the structure decks that came out uh, soon. We're gonna be getting the structure deck revolver about I think next month. 
which I think is pretty funny. Uh, we're gonna see Soulburner beat beat the old meta's ass. You know, here here's a new meta. Uh, which hopefully before Reigns ends, um, well actually not, because they probably already would have already said something. Uh, but if Reigns would be, since Reigns Reigns is basically on the decline to end already, or on the incline, you know, to, to end already, I would hope they bring out a Yusaku structure deck, and Yusaku becomes a new meta. I think that would be cool to finally have a protagonist. Maybe, maybe next next season, uh, the the protagonist could be be meta or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just find it funny that's the it's the rivals. Uh, they're basically the meta decks, or their decks are meta. Anyway, um, Revolver's deck's fucking insane though. He's because like when I was paying attention, like he he was just special summoning all these fucking rocket monsters. And then he Link Summoned, and then he Special Summoned, and he's like, when I have a Dark Monster, I can go ahead and Special Summon this monster, whoa. Uh, we have not seen Revolver, Synchro, Fusion, or XC Summon this duel. And I know there is a brand new Barrel Load Fusion Monster, and I, f I hope... I hope he fusion summons uh, the next duel. I think he did fusion summon. I, I feel like he already did, but I'm not too sure. But I do hope 100%. Uh, what ends up happening is, of course, more cool summonings. I was really hoping. Uh, hoping. I was really hoping that Soulburner would have ritual summoned. Uh, but I think that's gonna be next episode. Or at least hopefully something to that extent. As long as the duel is great, that's fine. But, I mean, come on. As fans, we do want that bit of fan service of him going I tune, I XE. I'm going to fusion summon into my Rocket Furious Dragon. You know, Savage Dragon and all that stuff. Um, especially if this is going to be Revolver's final duel. Because, as for all we know, maybe after this duel, win or lose, we don't see him after that. Well, actually, if he wins. Actually, I don't know about that. Because if he wins, he's gonna go fight I. Uh, but maybe him and Playmaker are gonna duel. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just make things last long. Actually, yeah, that could be an option. Maybe Revolver beats Soul Burner. Isaku says, nah. Shit, what happened? Okay, sorry. Mike levels back up. Uh, so yeah, he just says, nah. And then like, they just took, took that shit out, you know. Just fucking battle each other. And whoa. And then I fucking I'm like 100% sure Playmaker would beat the shit out of Revolver. Fuck. Anyway, uh, and then him versus I, and then I fucking I don't know. I don't, I don't make the fucking show. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I want dark chocolate. Fuck. Okay. So let me talk about a new anime I've been watching. All right, just real fast, cause cause I'm gonna have, I, cause I'm, I'm gonna try to finish watching the goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side Dimension movie with a friend. Demon Girl Next Door. Watch the fuck out of that. Oh my god, she's so precious. I just want to hold her, cuddle her, and love her. Oh my god. I love Satania so fucking much. But then there's this girl. She's number two, don't, don't worry. Satania is number one. This girl is number two. Anyway, she's number two best demon girl, alright? Of all time, hands down. I was watching the second episode. Uh, if you never heard of the series, go watch the first episode. Go watch the second episode. Uh, so I was watching the second episode. Uh, spoiler alerts here. So the magical girl named uh, Momo. Uh, I know. Hold on. A little bit back. There we go. So the demon girl really wants to fight this magical girl, so she can use her blood to go ahead and bring her family out of poverty. Uh, pro pro yeah, I can't say it. Importantness, there we go. Cause I'm a fucking retard. I'm, I'm pouring my vocabulary. Uh, fucking anyway. <clears throat> so she decides to go hit that gym, you know, and uh, she she's just struggling with that one that one pound bar, which is just oh my god. And then she just turns over and fucking there's just fucking Momo just right there fucking one handed on like you know. Usually two-handed thing, yeah. Penis, no. Uh, <laughs> fucking lifting weights just with one arm. So, oh my god, people do that at the gym a lot. Anyway, well, not now with that. No, no, no. What was she was doing? Which I thought that was just extremely funny. So later on in the episode, they end up fighting. 
uh, quote unquote fighting. Uh, but first, uh, the magical girl mama wants to help her out, uh, warm up. So they end up running. Well, first they end up doing some stretches, then they end up running, and then what ends up happening is uh, is Momo forgets what the fuck they were running for. Why are they fighting for? Which I thought that was pretty fucking funny. Uh, more adorable, I guess. So what, is, uh, what ends up happening after that is that basically she's like, oh fuck, gotta run. But she basically says, no, can I... Can I can I, can, I, can, I, can I borrow some money? So she whips out. The you know, girl whips out her her money shit, and her, her her little her little transformation thing, which I like how it just appears out of nowhere. And she's like, "Well, here's five bucks," uh, which apparently five bucks is a, a, a Japanese coin. America, get on that now! I want five dollars in change, goddammit. <laughs> and not in change is I want change, just one. Yeah, in one fucking thing. Anyway, uh, something happened. <laughs> so, uh, after that, they they actually they they go on. I I, I like how I like how the magic girl was just tagging along with shit, and I, this looks like it's cute, but it also looks like it's be a very complicated situation because just like Yu Gi Oh, <laughs> Revolver has seemed to become some sort of friend, and just in this anime, it seems like this magical girl that she has to kill. Uh, has become some sort of friend, and it's just so cute and adorable. But I could already feel the fan fiction and the shipping has begun in my veins. Deep down, I know the dark seed of lust has been planted, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of fucking porn of them to fucking people always ruin good shit, you know, just uh, how it is. So, mine is all that. Uh, I do like how one of her friends, the girl with glasses, has uh, long hair. Oh, well, shit. Time to go.